Dear friends, welcome to another special edition of these moments with our Good Shepherd. Why did God permit this war? Well, we find the first answer in the repeated statements of Scripture that bloodshed, even the most justified, is a punishment upon those who rise up in rebellion against heaven. In Judges chapter 5, verse 8, we read, When Israel chose new gods, there was war at the gates. Now again, please don't think that I'm pointing an accusing finger at one side or the other side and calling them unbelievers. Only God knows those who are his. But it shouldn't come as any surprise to us that there are unbelievers everywhere and in all nations, Russia, Ukraine, NATO, and even in the United States. When people choose new gods and drift away from God's power and the love of his grace, that void can only be filled with sin and destruction. We see altars to the gods of power and authority and pleasure and science being erected all over the place. And these are being advertised and proclaimed as the Savior of this world. Well, Jesus warned, whoever lives by the sword will die by the sword. And as Habakkuk asked God, how could you possibly raise up a, a warlike nation like the Chaldeans? God said the same thing. It would be for their judgment. Later on in chapter 1, we read, but then the wind blows and passes over them, and they will bear their guilt these men whose own strength is their God. God's first purpose in the present conflict is to fulfill his repeated threat of punishment on unbelief and blasphemy and rebellion against his grace. By permitting this struggle, he is hurling many of his enemies down under the crushing weight of their own sin. And yes, even in our country, far removed from the physical violence, we are feeling the effects. God's message reaches to all the ends of the earth. Only through repentance and returning to the Son, our Savior, who suffered and bled and died for our sins, can there be any restoration. Only by standing in front of the empty tomb and believing the angel's message, he is risen, can we find new life. Join me in prayer. Limit the reach of selfish ambition and thwart those who overlook the suffering of others. According to your good and gracious will, stop this war and restore peace among the nations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, everyone, thank you for spending these moments with me, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue these special devotions.